Control is one of the most important things ever to a narcissist. Without it, it is far less likely they'll get what they want from their victims. Control is gained through all of the narcissist's manipulation tricks. The love bombing, the silent treatments, the idle threats, them being a giant bully with their scare tactics and breadcrumbing, and more. I want to talk about what happens when the narcissist inevitably does lose control over you. You not behaving correctly the way you should, sends the narcissist into a tailspin. What will immediately happen when you don't behave the way a narcissist thinks you will or expects you to, there will always be some kind of punishment for this. Narcissists will attempt throughout the relationship to teach you lessons, quote unquote, when you don't act accordingly. If you don't give them sympathy, if you don't cry for them, swoon over them, if you don't feel sorry for them, if you call them out on their bullshit and their lies, if you don't text them enough, whatever the case may be, punishment is coming your way. This is not how a well-adjusted adult behaves. If I'm a little miffed that you don't text me, I'm not going to say anything. You'll be there when you get there. If I'm legit concerned, I'll be like, uh, hey, (laughs) life check? Are you cool? Did you die? But other than that, no, I'm not going to throw some kind of high-toned hissy fit like a five-year-old. When someone immediately jumps to punishing you and trying to teach you a lesson, this is not just a lesson. This is called conditioning. The narcissist hopes that you will see that every time you call them out for being a liar, for example, or a cheater, they'll go silent for a few days. Over time, they're going to hope that you understand you need to stop doing this because one of these times that they go silent, they might not come back. It's a scare tactic trying to force you to behave a certain way. They don't want to be called out on their nonsense. And you are to learn that if you continue to do this, there will be hell to pay. Punishments from a narcissist usually are a lack of communication. Again, the silent treatment, the ghosting, the discarding. Some do resort to physical violence, unfortunately. Some get nice and filled with narcissistic rage. They yell and scream. Maybe they throw things. They lash out. Your more mature narcissist, (laughs) obvious pun is obvious, will result to name calling or lashing out at you telling you that you suck, you're awful, and everything you do is wrong, and you are the one who is truly to blame, not them, because of course they're perfect. They do everything perfectly and most wonderfully. This is naturally projection, as they try to slide everything off of themselves and onto you. If you'd like to talk about a narcissistic relationship, you feel that you're in, or maybe you were in, you can email bookachatwithjess at gmail.com to get one-on-one chats and coaching with me if you feel you need it. You know someone is thirsty for control when as soon as you do something they don't like, they flip out. Whether they scream or drift away, Neither of this solves the issue. These only drive issues even deeper. That's another thing I think that we need to recognize when it comes to toxic people like a narcissist. Every relationship is going to have ups and downs and issues. After all, we are two people from two usually very different walks of life with different stories, and we're trying to merge together. So yeah, issues are going to come up. Whatever issues you have with your partner should be looked at objectively, and as adults, and worked on. Can this problem be solved? Good, let's work it out and move on. Can we not? Well, hey, goodbye, and good luck. You'll notice whatever problems happen with a narcissist, they never change. There is never resolution, and nothing ever gets better. Narcissists are not interested in resolving problems in the first place. If you solved problems, well then, what fun (laughs) would there be for somebody like a narcissist who loves drama, loves things to be stirred up and crazy? They want problems. They want issues. Nothing is ever going to be fixed. I found myself in my relationship thinking, What the hell? (laughs) This again? Aren't we past this? Why is this still an issue? Well, that's the name of the game. I don't want to make this a whole thing on manipulation and shit, but no matter where you are in life, I think it's really important to see what makes people lose their shit, essentially, and act like a weirdo, and to be on the lookout for what makes people flip out. Control issues are very real, but narcissists aren't the only ones who have them. A lot of empathic, codependent people 
have control issues too. A need for control is something that stems from anxiety. At one point, we felt a huge lack of control over something, and now we will do anything that we can to have that control so that whatever it was that was bad that happened never does again. After my relationship with somebody narcissistic, I decided to take control, and the way I decided to take control was to shut down. I wasn't dating. I wasn't talking. Shit, I wasn't doing anything. I wanted nothing to do with anyone. I was attempting to control that situation for self-preservation and protection, which is just one example of control that happens a lot. Control is an issue on both sides, and We can talk about narcs and toxic people to death, but I think it's also really important from time to time to touch on the fact that sometimes we do unhealthy things too. In feeling like my relationship was out of control with somebody narcissistic and abusive, I tried to take control. And that's what it all becomes, a struggle for power and control between two people. Tell me what things the narc tried to control in your relationship down in the comments. Thank you so much for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Have a great day, Survivor, and take care of yourself.